In this tutorial, we will teach you how to format numbers and dates in Excel. You can see that the numbers in the Excel sheet are not formatted, which leaves us thinking what currency they are in. Highlight the numbers you want to format and then click on the dollar sign, which is in the number group under the Home tab. Once done, the cells you have highlighted will be formatted and dollar signs and commas will appear. In this case, we have formatted only two rows with the dollar sign. The rest will be formatted with commas only. Highlight the rest of the cells and click on the comma button given in the number group. You can change how many decimal places you want by simply clicking on the increase decimal or decrease decimal buttons. How the date appears can also be changed. The first cell for the date which says created on is just numbers, while the second and third ones which read today's date and printed on are functions. Click on the cell which has the date in it and then click on the number group launcher. From the box, select the style you want to apply to the date. The second date cell can be formatted using the Format Painter option, which copies formatting from one cell and applies it to another. This option can be accessed from the Clipboard group under the Home tab. Click on the Format Painter option, and then click on the cell you want to apply this to. The last date cell has time placed in it as well. Click on the Number Group Launcher, and while you are in the Custom tab, edit the type bar to MMMMDDYYYY at HH colon MM colon SS AM slash PM, and click the OK button once done. If you add AM or PM, the date will be displayed in the 12th hour format. Since the cell is too small to display all this information, you will need to merge the cells. Highlight the cells you want to merge, and then click on the Merge and Center button, which can be found in the Alignment group.